look like they're ready to go right now. Uh-huh. I thought we were parading. We're going to Venice! Arrivederci! Oh, thank you. No, really, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. That way. Oh, good. We still got a shot. Nice, very nice. Action. Okay, where are we? Where are we? There it is, Campo San Stefano. Okay, now here's what's gonna happen, you guys. The camera will do this, and then come back. Okay. So just leave just that little bit of time for me to do that, and then come okay. back. Okay. So, so, so say, it, say it again, Nate. There it is, Campo. Uh, there it is, Campo San Stefano. Oh, we're here. We're here. How much time we got? For two minutes. There it is. Where's she going? She's got it. Come on. <laughs> Grab it. Wait. How much time? Grab it. Wait. Minute 28. Take just a moment just to reflect. Grab it. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, what was that all about? I just wanted to savor. Yeah, savor the. Mm. Savor the moment. We lucked out. We really lucked out. We could have lost 500 large. 500. We really lucked out. We did. Titian, you idiot. Oh, jeez. Oh, really? Yeah, really. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Don't beat yourself up. Never mind. You know, gave it our best shot. <laughs> God. You guys are pathetic. We know. We only just started. We know. So that's it? What? We just lost 500 bucks? Yeah. I know. You guys, when I put the oh, camera in your slow. face... <laughs> you know, when the camera comes to your face, that's your life. <laughs> I have a question again. I know yeah. we went over this, but I forgot the answer. Yeah. When we're talking to you in the camera, we're looking at the lens? Please. Okay, thank you. And let's do all the mistakes now in the yeah. studio. You are going to look up the chuck and then correct yourself. Well, I did. I know I did that because I, I couldn't remember what yeah. we decided. So. Okay, so let's make all those mistakes now, okay? okay. Yep. So let's make it to the point where when we come back from Venice and you're talking to Chuck, you're looking down at his waist, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's make it that ingrained in. <laughs> Okay. okay. Stephanie, what are you looking at? <laughs> the camera. The camera. The camera. Just fly is <laughs> open. Okay. I mean, I don't know why I'm chiding you guys. I've got the script right in my hand, don't I? So. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's just take it. Um, uh, you guys have just collapsed. <sighs> I'm so sorry. It's all right. Oh, no, never mind. Don't beat yourself up. Never mind. We yeah. gave it our best shot. You guys are pathetic. <laughs> we know. We only just started. We know. So that's it. What? We just lost 500 bucks. Yeah. Give us another chance. I blame myself. So do I. Give us another chance. Don't count this game. Quest. Whatever. What do you say? He didn't answer. No, he didn't. He's actually thinking about it. Yes, he is. Is there anything we can do to convince you? Anything at all? You know, you guys look really weird in this wide-angle lens. Well, how weird do you like it? I can do weird. You like weird. Come on. Give us another chance. Please. All right, all right. I'll only deduct 250 <sighs> You rock. <laughs> yes! You're going this way here. Right first. Fake. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. All right. Okay, and action. Tiziano Vecelli, otherwise known as Titian, born around 1490, died 1570 something, considered the most important Venetian artist of the 16th century. Tintoretto, born 1518, died whenever. He was the most important exponent of so called Venetian mannerism. Tiepolo, real name Giovanni Battista, born 16 something, died 17 something. His work marks the zenith of Italian painting in the 18th century. Those were the three T's, but there were others Canaletto, Bellini, Carpaccio, Giorgione, Veronese. I know this stuff. I know I know this stuff. I can't believe I blew that game. <sighs> okay, wait till the camera gets there. There and then. Yeah, good. Okay. Nice though, you guys. Perfect. Flying over the frozen tundra that is western Michigan in early March. Grateful that our four weeks of rehearsal have gone well. Thankful that no one had fallen ill or was subject to other circumstances which might have jeopardized the movie. We have no safety net after all on these foreign films we make. 
We pay for them ourselves, and we have a limited amount of time in which to do them. Nothing too major can go wrong if we're to succeed in this unlikely endeavor. 14 hours, three planes, four meals, and six fitful naps later, we can't believe our sleepy eyes as the landscape has changed to something altogether different. Ah, Venezia, La Serenissima. By the time we collect our bags and squeeze through customs, by the time we hit the water taxi, our brains are short-circuiting in a primordial haze of misfiring synapses. We can't believe our eyes or our strung-out sensibilities. We're on a speeding boat hurtling over the waters of some faraway fantasy world. Everything is wrong with this picture. We deactivate unnecessary sensory applications and try to slow everything down to a manageable data flow. But the image peels off around us as we drift straight through this unreal combination of the familiar seen more than slightly askew. We're floating through a cityscape where the buildings are on top of the water. So old they might crumble in a slippery heap at any moment. And it only gets stranger, or more wondrous. Our brain's desire for sleep staved only by the fear of what dreams may come in this unnatural, unfamiliar landscape. Terra firma once again, though it be incognita. And here we are, the actors you already know, along with our composer and his friend, our chief logisticator, another shooter with his camera, and an Italian stranger on the far left, who seems in the circumstances as likely our companion as the Dormouse was to Alice. Our senses fight to find focus, not to mention our two apartments in this far from normal, far beyond mere Disney-esque place. Trudging with our gear, wanting nothing more than to sleep for a day or two. Wanting nothing more than to run and jump all over this intriguing place. Wanting nothing more than to have only one thought at one time. Only one feeling alone with itself. Only one idea about what to do next. Fundamenta Catarina. Can you hear us now? We are standing in our apartment listening to you speak from outside of your apartment. Cool. It works. Chuck, you, also you owe us a euro. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, I lost the bet. I didn't think Jeremy's walkie-talkie would reach out all the way to Nate and the others in their apartment. All of ten minutes walk away. All of 150 thick brick buildings away, but it did and sleep one out over the desire to explore. So one deep nap later and one wake from the land of the jet-lagged dead, we find ourselves in this unbelievable old palazzo. Well, I do anyway. The others are making their way over to Nate and company's apartment. While I linger on here a moment to drink in this place and show it all to you. Look at that ceiling. It's not Titian Tiepolo or Tintoretto, father or son, but who cares? This palazzo was built in 1537, ladies and germs, 1537. That's almost medieval. Well, late Renaissance to be sure, but what the hell, it's old. And look at this, this is a fresco. They actually painted on this when it was wet plaster a long time ago. Look at that. There's no taking your pictures with you if you move. They stay with the house. No, you just don't find a place like this to rent in Venice. Not for under 5,000 big ones a week, anyway. Donna got us this place for 1,300 Americans, believe it or not. I'm still waiting to find something dramatically wrong with it. No hot water, or maybe the Red Queen walks the halls after midnight or something. With jet lag and stunted brain stems, anything is possible, I suppose. Look at this room. Morano glass chandelier, of course. And 
walking into the kitchen brings us into the hearth of this home. And there it is, the boiler, making this the warmest room in the house. Down the hall to Jeremy and Sarah's bedroom. Bedroom, ballroom more like. Look at the furniture in this room. Louis the whatever if it's a day. I expect the Red Queen to come hurtling around a corner any moment. Or Lucretia Borgia or a Medici or two. But no, this is Venice, no time for Florentine spooks. Plenty of homegrown intrigue to conjure if one cares to. Or to fend off if one doesn't. Circling around to the ante room, 450 year old beams in that ceiling. And back to the first room we saw. Terrazzo floors. And that outrageous fresco on the ceiling. Time to catch up with the gang. Here's Nate navigating through the Venetian damp, both low and high. This is most unusual, perfectly in keeping with our altered state. It's snowing in Venice. It only snows here every three or four years, and here it is in March when the temperature should be in the 50s, and it's snowing. It's a wet snow, as you'd expect in Venice. That's the rather odd use of the umbrellas. Hiding drag on this caterpillar, making sure no little dokies go astray. Gondola station, usually loading with tourists, now quiet with flurries. My favorite approach to San Marco, Monaco Alta. The high water floats upon this square from the overflowing lagoon. It's bad enough. But this mini aqualta from above has got to be the cruelest of ironies. But at least the piazza is navigable via the isthmus, if you're Jeremy and Nate, anyway. San Marco, the Basilica, in the murky distance. So strange to see San Marco underwater, Aqualta or not. Well, time to head back to the palazzo and to bed. Hope the Borgias don't walk the halls tonight. First one up in the morning, surveying the evidence from the night before. <laughs> we polished off a 151 already. Got a couple left, but looks like we'll have to augment our revels with some local Prosecco. Okay, let's see what the day holds for us. Uh-oh. Oh no. Snow. Accumulated snow. The wind was pounding the shutters all night, except for the shutters we forgot to close, in which case the wind pounded on and eventually opened the windows themselves. No wonder it's cold in here. Uh, wet, soppy snow. He's using a sponge mop to shovel the stuff. You, you could say they're not exactly expert at snow removal.
most eerie scene, Venice in snow. There's Jeremy on the way to the other apartment. Here's the intrepid snow removal crew looking for guidance or motivation or a warm cappuccino more likely. Whoever came up with the idea of lingerie on trash bins is a genius, though these smalls are anything but trashy. <laughs> We're tired already and hungry too. The condiment of choice in this part of the world, ketchup? No, no, senor, it's olive oil on everything, from pizza to french fries. San Marco at dusk for our Bacardi 151 and Cokes. To the camera. We can do this. No, really. And then to the camera. Yeah, I got mine already. Really? I got mine already. Yeah. Okay. okay. And do that special little Nate look that you do. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Looking good, you guys. Almost ready. And wait two seconds after I say it. And action. 317. Close enough. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, no, I counted 305, but what the hell? Hey, what's a few dots among friends, huh? I don't even know what that means. All right, so what's next? We're on a roll. All right, let's do exhalation of a side. Do, beg your pardon, darling. What? Well, you guys were bitching about not doing a real movie in Venice. Oh, Also, now's your chance. You each have to write a short piece called Exhalation of a Side. Use whoever among you you want, but I'll need four. One from each of you. You got uh, two hours to come up with them. Uh, we'll meet back here, let's see. Um, let's make it three o'clock and then we'll film them. Be creative. Exaltation of a side? No, 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 exhalation, breathing out. How long? I don't know, uh, 30 seconds, a minute. Are you gonna judge them? I won't, I'll just do a halfway decent job and you pass. We can do that. No, really, I got mine already.
typical narrow calle opposite the canal from our front door. This is a Venetian neighborhood. Few tourists venture this deep into Venice. And here's the front facade of where we are staying. That's uh, Jaron Sayers' bedroom balcony up there. And as pure chance would have it, that mustard-colored house next door is where I stayed during the shooting of my video Living in Venice a couple of years ago. Sketch artist. Talk about pen and ink. This is the real stuff. Those perch on a cafe chair is a little chilly, or parky, as the Brits would say. His view of Santa Maria della Salute is one of the best vedutes in Venice. Or the world, for that matter. Who could deny it? Two, three, four, five. A little more, maybe? Hot cocoa. <laughs> Good night. You need your your finger. Oh, she's good. Salute. 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 Not salute. It's probably really cool on the espresso cups. Chris, now we gotta lick this up. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. We're all licking it, so okay. It's just like when you make fudge, you know, and it's yeah. like melted and you and yeah. you like get I'm into it. The yeah. Is yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. the cafe? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So Jeremy, it's just simply this. Oops. It's simply this. When he says do it, just go. Well, it's no. do it what dance with somebody. Okay, do it. What dance with somebody. Okay, so it's just simple. It's just simple. Just take a little pause and just go. And then that's it. Yeah, that's okay. it. Just just that. And then you realize briefly that it's not enough, and then you turn this there and start right away. We just got all the too many pauses in here, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess if all you want to do is the bare minimum. <laughs> Come here. Woo! Do you poker? What? Hit it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> God, that's very good. Good. <laughs> wow. That's great, you guys. That's great. So. Yeah, one more time. Yeah. That was nice, you guys. This is to attract pigeons to what location? Yeah. But don't do it now. Put that in your pocket. Here he comes. Jeez. And then Jimmy will do that. Okay, that's very good. He's cute. I'm gonna take him home. Buy a Murano glass? The loafers are very sweet. Ascolta, ma perché quello? Oh, I've got, I've got another one. I see. Waiting for the sun, waiting for the shade, waiting for the boats, waiting. Okay, almost ready, you guys. And action.
<laughs> that was quick. We had a stroke of luck, Chuck. Her name was Steph. Eagle Eye, my dad used to call me. What's that? Never mind. Can we have the final clue, please? No clue. No clue? No, it's here, within 100 feet from where I stand. What's what? here? A piece of Murano glass. Well, how big? I'm not telling. We find it and we win. Yep. Well, is it tiny, like T90? Well, it's visible to the human eye. It's not a sliver or anything. But there is a trick, isn't there? Is there? Okay. 